Hey guys, it's Sean from Craft Elements. In this short video, we're gonna be looking at mold releases, but specifically focused on the two uh, mold releases here, which are the Smooth On slash Man Technologies Ease Release 200 and the Ease Release 300. Um, I'm also just gonna quickly go over these in a way you don't wanna use them, as well as this as well. So uh, just a preface here, mold release is imperative for silicone molds, whether it's our molds or cheap imported Amazon and Etsy molds, Anybody that tells you they're gonna sell you a silicone mold that doesn't need mold release and it's gonna last forever is smoking something really good. So basically, that's, that's all absolute nonsense. Silicone molds have a limited life. Whether they're from us or someone else, it doesn't matter if it's a $5 mold or a $300 mold, it will eventually fail. The question is whether is it in two uses or 30 or 40 uses. We typically say that a mold should last at least 20, possibly 30 uses uh, before it starts to deteriorate and you've got to replace it or patch it. Um, but some of our makers and customers who buy stuff from us all the time, uh, specifically resin artists using a slower set resin, something that can be set in four to five days, can get 50, 60, 70 uses out of a mold, which is pretty crazy. It's not typical though. Uh, 20 to 30 uses is what you should typically expect before it starts to deteriorate. And that can be worse if you don't use a mold release, use the wrong mold release, don't clean the mold in between, so on and so forth. But Specifically what I want to talk about here is these guys. These are non-silicone based mold releases and I've said it before, it's in our instructions, it's on our product pages, it's on our fact page, it's in our emails. It has to be a non-silicone based mold release. If you use a silicone based, silicone based mold release like some of these guys here, you're basically, it's like spraying paint on paint and expecting it to do something. It's not going to release. You're essentially spraying silicone on silicone and it's not going to protect your mold. So Smooth On's universal mold release, we wrongly recommended this a couple of years ago, um, but it is actually a silicone mold release. So don't use that on a silicone mold. It's great for like polyurethane molds or rubber, other rubber molds or steel. It's fine, but not for silicone. Silicone mold release does not mean mold release for silicone molds. It means it's made of silicone. Don't use that. Let's this is like, an, like a soy based one. I've had some mixed reviews on this. We've had success with it, but I've also seen tear it with it. So probably not use it. Similar like Appel, Stoner, those are all silicone based mold releases not to be used with silicone molds. The MG Chemicals A329, you can get this on Amazon. Good product and I've used it for years. That's perfect. But what I'm actually wanting to do today is compare the Man Ease Release 200 to 300. And a lot of people are like, well, what the heck's the difference? Well, the difference is this is a low buildup uh, mold release, which means it's going to give you a shinier finish. So they say that this is going to give you a semi-gloss to gloss finish uh, in your resin or your casting, whatever you're casting. Uh, the 300 is going to give you more of a matte finish. If you're a woodworker, so if you're making stuff with like wooden resin, it doesn't matter which one you use because you're going to sand it down, you're going to plane it, whatever. But if you're a resin artist and you want to take your piece out of our, our shiny mold and get kind of a shiny-ish piece and you don't want that matte cloudy look that a lot of people will complain about with say the 200 or some of the other mold releases, then you'll want to consider the Man Ease Release 300. So what I want to actually do today is an actual comparison. So I'm going to go set this up. We're going to use one of our six by two by two uh, dual block handle holder molds. I don't even remember what this thing's called. It's like it's like a mold for ho holding pictures or pict um, mirror frames or business card holders or whatever, right? But the cool thing is it's a dual cavity mold. So there's going to be like a perfect example of using this because obviously the finish inside here is going to be identical, but we're going to show that the 200 is going to give you a little bit more of a cloudy finish in the resin. So I'm going to go ahead and mark a two up here for 200 and a three down here. This marker doesn't really work well in silicone molds, but hopefully it'll last long enough. What I'm going to do now is use some tape just to seal off the one side um, while I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the 200 in one section of this mold and I'm going to take the tape off and reverse it and spray the 300 in the other section. And spraying mold release, I don't want to say it's a science. You just don't want to get heavy, but you don't want to do a little. Because if you do too little, it doesn't do anything, and then you're going to end up with a ruined mold. If you do too much, you're just going to have an extra amount of buildup no matter which mold release you use. So, man 200 first. Should be wearing a mask for this. I'm not. Um, it's really hard to talk. So I'm just going to go and then run. Okay, no, seriously. Uh, we're just going to shake this up and do a general application like that. I'll let it clear. I do have my fans on, my doors open if you're concerned about my health, thank you. 
Uh, this stuff typically takes like five minutes to set. Okay, I'm gonna use a 300 on this side. Okay, what I'm gonna go do now is mix up some Total Boat epoxy um, with a colored sort of uh, like a like a an opaque colored pigment, uh, just so we can kind of more focus on the surface finish rather than the texture or color. And I'm gonna come back and pour it in the mold. All right, I've got some Total Boat thick set epoxy, which I've used some uh, alcohol-based pigment to keep it kind of clear and without um, without any pearl in it, since it'll show a little bit better. Got the 300 on this side, 200 on this side. I don't really care about filling these molds. It's really just for demonstration. So let's see if we can get far enough to get these filled. So we'll come back in a day or so and we'll take a look. We'll demold these and see what the difference on the surface is to compare the Ease Release 300 to the Ease Release 200. All right, we're back after two days of letting these set. I've taken the 200 out and the 300 out and I can see right away that there is an obvious difference. Unfortunately, it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, but I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see what I mean. So I've got the 200 on the left side and the 300 on the right side. And the only way you can really tell the difference here on the camera is just so you can see how the light reflects on it. You can see that it's kind of more dispersed on the left side and you've kind of got a little bit of a haze, a little bit of a cloudiness. Whereas on the right side, you don't get that dispersion with the light. Uh, and that's simply because the finish on the surface is just much, much clearer. So I, I really do think that the difference between the 200 and the 300, while it's not blatantly obvious in terms of like, you know, night and day, it's gonna make a huge difference. The 300 does have that lower buildup feature, which is going to be good if you want super clarity um, out of your resin uh, and you are obviously having to use a mold release. Now again, remember, if you are a woodworker, it really doesn't matter. The 200 or 300 um, is gonna make no difference because you're gonna take your piece out of your mold, you're gonna plane it, you're gonna sand it, you're gonna basically mess up the finish as it is before you get it back to something that looks really, really nice. But if you're a resin artist and you wanna have the best looking kind of finish of your resin casting right out of a mold, assuming your mold is of course, you know, polished or, or glossy, then the 300 is probably something you wanna consider if not always use. So the 200 is gonna give you the matte finish, 300 is gonna give you that semi-gloss finish. Again, guys, hope you found this video uh, interesting and informative. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.